guys, it's Avery. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. It's going to be all of my favorites over the year 2016. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So my most recent favorite is the purse that I got during Black Friday. I usually don't like getting stuff for myself on Black Friday. I like to spend that time to get stuff for my family. None of them really like going shopping in the lines and the crowds and stuff like that, but I think it's a blast. We went to the outlet mall and I got this fossil purse I usually stick with the same purse for years I had just gotten a new one from Francesca's I'll actually go get that okay so I had gotten this purse from Francesca's and then a few weeks later I picked it up like this and this came undone I was so sad. There's these little holes that I just came out of and it won't stick back in. But it was a little bit too big for me. I was needing a bigger purse and this was just too big. So I was really glad when I found this one because it's the perfect size. There's just a zipper right here that opens it up. And it fits everything I need in here so perfectly. I even have like this little notebook that I keep in there. There's a little pocket here that I keep, like a pen in and um, just random stuff. And there's a couple pockets inside. If you want me to do a what's in my bag video, I will. So if you want that, then just comment that down below. The only thing I am kind of hesitant about that I don't really love is the zipper doesn't go all the way down to where the bag is right here there's a hole on both sides and so my keys sometimes will fall it's happened once it's happened one time but sometimes they'll be over here and just come right out but that's only happened like once and i've had no problems with it after that now to the next thing these are all pretty much fashion related when i think of what are my favorites? I always go to fashion first. My next favorite are these booties. They are by, I don't, I'm probably not going to say this right, Adrian Vitadini? I think I got these from Macy's. I had searched for so long to find some just light gray booties. I had ordered some, but they were not even gray. They were like a taupe. They have a little zipper on the side. They have this little heel. I like to wear low heels if I'm wearing stuff throughout the day because I don't like to click clack down the hallway especially during school. They give me a little bit of height but nothing super tall. I'm already kind of tall. I'm not that tall. I'm like 5'7". And oh I like the the ankle height. Ankle boots are such a trend this year so I wanted to find some. I'm wearing some right now. They're like <laughs> One second. They go a little bit up like that but these go even further up. That's those. We'll get to these in a second. Now I have another pair of boots and they're my over the knee boots. So they're these boots by Charles David. These are them. They have a little bit of a heel too. They're just pull on ones. I like how they tie too around the leg. So you can tighten them if your thighs are a little bit smaller. I tend to have bigger thighs anyway so these work fine for me. And they stay up really well. So they come in these bags like these shoe bags and I thought that was really neat because if you're traveling or something I made a video about how to style my high knee boots so if you're curious to how I styled those boots then go and watch that I'll just go ahead and do my jackets I went to this big thrift store down in Austin Texas when I went in there I didn't have in mind that I needed jackets but after I went in there I turned into a wild woman wanting jackets I came out with one two three four four jackets that day. It's a thrift store, so they were super cheap. This is my favorite. This is probably the one I've worn the most out of all of them. And it's this varsity jacket. And it has the stripes on the sleeve too and around the collar. It has the stripes at the bottom too. It's so warm. You can wear it over anything. I wear this thing over sweatshirts. I even wear it with my high knee boots. So that's jacket number one. I apparently like bomber jackets. I saw these two jackets that are by the same brand. They're both Inso Collection. This one's black with silver detailing on it. This is a green one and it has some gold detailing on it. And then I found this trench bomber jacket. It looks like this. Ooh. This is a company called B Sharp. It kind of looks like a rain jacket in a way and you could probably wear it as a rain jacket but you would 
probably will still get wet since it's not water resistant. At least I don't think it is. And then I got my leather jacket this year. I started wearing leather jackets in like middle school because I thought they were the coolest thing. I always tried to find my perfect leather jacket. I could never find my perfect one. But then I went to Arizona this summer and we were shopping and we were, I think we were in Nordstrom's. Where I live, we don't have a Nordstrom. So I was looking through there and they had a top shop section, a top shop section. And I found this jacket and this, this is my ideal leather jacket that I have been picturing in my head forever. It's like a quilted leather across the back and right here. And then it also has some textured leather there and then some zipper sleeves. And um, it has like these lapels that butt or they snap back so they don't flop around the whole time. This is what I've been waiting for and I finally found it so dreams have come true. I have two more things. I have one beauty related one and then one with food. So this is the micellar, 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 micellar cleansing water. I had heard about this stuff but I was like it's just water is it really gonna take my makeup off? This is not just water. It actually does good things for you. I actually tested this with a Neutrogena wipe and then I used this and I applied this with just like a cotton pad and um it works better than the Neutrogena wipes. I'm planning on doing a video comparing the two because I was shocked. But this is by Garnier and it's the blue one. They have a pink one, but this is the blue one. And it's the all-in-one, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. I go ahead and rinse it off. It says you don't have to rinse it, but I rinse it off anyways. But it's nice to know that you don't have to if I'm feeling lazy that night. I had the simple one and then I had ran, ran out of that, so then I got the Garnier one since it had the all-in-one. I'm halfway through this one, and I really like it still. My last favorites are a food, and they are my new favorite snack. And it's these Harvest Snap Snap Pea Crisps. I originally got them in these lightly salted, just the original lightly salted ones. Then my mom got them in black pepper, and these are my new favorite. They taste like potato chips. These are the best alternative to potato chips that I've ever tasted. They just look like this. The serving size is pretty big and reasonable for the amount of calories and stuff that's in it. The serving size is 22 pieces, so if I'm craving something salty or crunchy, these are perfect. I can just get a handful of these and call it good. I want to try other flavors. I wonder if they have- oh, they're gluten-free too. I eat gluten like no other, but if you're gluten-free, those are my favorites for 2016. Let me know if you guys liked some of the stuff that I had or if you guys have some of this stuff. If you guys have tried these and you love them as much as I do. I like to do kind of videos I like watching, so that's kind of what I've been doing. But if you guys have recommendations for videos, let me know. I feel like I've said that like five times this video. Since I'm just now starting my channel, I want to know what kind of videos you guys like. Yeah, so those are all my favorites. Thank you so much for watching and thinking beautifully with me. I will see you in my next video.